So how you doing? We are going to turn steel into liquid today. The straight up, we're going to turn some steel into liquid using my new Best Arc plasma cutter. Now, if you're interested in one of these machines, I'm going to have a link in the description for you to check out. So let's kind of go through the process here of my first time ever running a plasma cutter. All right. Today, we are going to take a look at a plasma cutter. We're going to uh, get her pulled out of the packaging here. Uh, and we're going to use it. I'm not just going to look at it. We're going to use it. I got some work that needs done. We need a plasma cutter or something similar. So what do you say? We get to it. It is, which one is this? This is the, it's a Best Dark CUT55P. It's a plasma cutter. So let's get her opened up. It is a both a uh, 110 and a 220 volt cut uh, plasma cutter. It uh, automatically senses to whatever you got it plugged into. So if you take a look here, it's actually not a very large piece of equipment. How well do you think this thing's gonna do? Kinda curious to see how she does. And as you can see here, it does both 220 and 110. So if you want the 220, you plug it in with 220. Otherwise you just put this little adapter on, plug it into 110 and you're good to go. This would be kinda nice like if you're limited on how far you can go with your 220, you know what I mean? Like me, I'm limited to, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 feet or so away from, you know, like like my wire is like 10 foot or so. So if I needed to go like 50 feet away, I could use an extension cord or something. You know what I mean? Uh, still get the job done. There's our little uh, cutting torch end here. All right, here she is, up and running. I'm still kind of figuring this out. Uh, you can kind of turn your knobs here to change your settings. I got her cranked up right now. Now, she comes with an air regulator, which we got her all connected here in the back. We're up and running. Pretty simple setup. Um, you just run, it runs off the air compressor, you know what I mean? Comes from the air compressor through that uh, air regulator filter setup and you got a, a ground clamp and your torch end i mean this is about as basic of a setup as you can possibly imagine tell you i am very pleased so far um we're gonna we're cutting basically just whatever random stuff i can get my hands on here just to try this thing out see what it's capable of you know what i mean let's make some sparks fly let's turn some steel into liquid you know so what could be more enjoyable than turning steel into liquid? You know what I mean? Now I do currently have it plugged in running on 220 volts. So we're gonna see how she does. All right, so here is the piece of pipe. And let's try, let's see what happens on here. I'm surprised how easy it was able to cut that piece of pipe. Let's try something thicker. Here's this piece of steel. Um, if she cuts this, I don't think we should have any problems cutting pretty much anything I would ever use it for. We got this piece of steel up here. Let's see what happens. That sure makes short work of that. I think I had my air pressure a little too high. Let's try again. This thing is sweet. It sure makes it easy. I'll tell you what.
makes it really easy to cut these weird shapes and stuff. You know what I mean? A little bit of time, I'll be able to figure out how to make a cleaner cut. I bet, oh heck, that's a lot cleaner than a lot of stuff I've done in the past. You know what I mean? This is the first time I've ever had a plasma cutter in my hands. And it took just a matter of minutes and I was cutting this. You know what I mean? With ease. Pretty simple here. Uh, you can adjust your amperage just by turning the knob. And then this is your seconds, uh, like uh, how long you want it to run uh, after you, you're, you're done cutting and everything to help like cool down. And this 2T, uh, 4T function here. So the 2T is what I'm using. That's basically, it's cutting as long as I'm holding the trigger. And on 4T, it starts when I hit the trigger and it doesn't stop until I hit the trigger again. Uh, this keeps you from having to hold the trigger. Um, I'm running it on 30 amps right now on some thinner stuff. Um, I'm finding that it's it's more about you know getting the right amount of amperage and the right amount of air pressure uh, at the regulator. So you know too little or too, or, not, or whatever, and it just doesn't seem to work right. So you know you got to make sure you get your air pressure right. So uh, pretty simple setup. You can hit this button here and just check your air or take it back to your cutting. Pretty simple. Not much to it at all. Boy, I am super pleased with this machine. I'll tell you what, it really makes things simple for cutting steel. You know what I mean? Um, as far as the really, really heavy gauges, probably want something a little bigger than this machine. But for 99%, if, pretty much any cutting that I would do, I mean, I'm just an average guy. And I, I, now this thing will cut pretty much anything I would ever need to cut. So I am very pleased with the results. Um, there is a link in the description if you wish to go find one for yourself. Uh, I think it is definitely worth the effort. Um, it automatically goes between 110 volt and 220 volt. Um, basically what happens is on 110, you are limited on how much power you have available. And I was struggling on the thicker stuff on 110. And whenever I went to 220, it was able to do it. So yeah, I am pretty pleased with everything that I have found here today. Um, the instructions are very simple and easy to understand. Um, it doesn't get into the little, you know, the fine details of how to run one of these. Uh, maybe get into some other videos or something. But as far as the actual machine itself, this will definitely help get you started and, you know, move you towards uh, that easy lifestyle in the shop, I guess you could say. Uh, this, this is going to take over when torches or almost seem excessive you know what i mean which most of your cutting of angle iron and all that sorts of stuff this is going to take care of it instead of having to get out those torches and all that my best dark 55 here is a definitely hit for me i am very pleased with the results and hey i hope you enjoyed this we had a little fun in the shop melting metal <laughs> Alrighty, later.